He's the world's most popular personality. He's appeared in 119 cartoons, and this year, he turns 60 years old. Mickey Mouse, football star, musician, and big dreamer. Now, you could say Mickey was born on a train in 1928. His creator was a 26-year-old cartoonist. Walt Disney was traveling to Los Angeles from New York with his wife Lillian. And at the time, Walt owned a cartoon studio in Hollywood. He had traveled east seeking financial backing for his Oswald the Lucky Rabbit picture. The money men declined, and since the character was copyrighted under their name, they took control of it. Well, so much for the Lucky Rabbit. Disney now had nothing to take home with him. But the cross-country train ride would turn out to be an historical one. Walt conjured up a concept for a mouse. He said he had the idea in the back of his head because a mouse is a sort of sympathetic character. Now before the train chugged into LA, Disney had sketched several drawings of a little mouse in red velvet pants. He called him Mortimer, but Lillian didn't care for that name and suggested Mickey. Well, Walt always used to say Mickey was just a nice little guy. He was like you and me. He was every man in a way. After returning home, Walt went to work on the very first Mickey Mouse cartoons, Playing Crazy and Galloping Gaucho. The animator he put to work on these early shorts was Ub Iwerks, who also helped Walt with Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and other animated films and comic strips. But since the jazz singer, the world's first talking picture was recently released, and both Plain Crazy and Galloping Gaucho were silent, the cart sound was then added to the first two cartoons, Plain Crazy and Galloping Gaucho, and sound was also synced up to The Barn Dance, another early film. Mickey Mouse merchandising began almost immediately. Dozens of companies were licensed to use Mickey on their products, and on January 13, 1930, Mickey Mouse comic strips began to appear in newspapers. And in 1933, those famous watches hit the stores. And soon after, Mickey was appearing on virtually everything under the sun. But the focal point was still the theater, and Disney stepped up production on Mickey cartoons, producing 87 of them in the 1930s. All of the Disney films were way ahead of their time. They also introduced a variety of new characters, like Clarabelle Cow, that first Disney villain Peg Leg Pete, and the ever-popular Goofy. <laughs> I know you learned to love me. Never! 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 From the beginning, Mickey had only one leading lady, Minnie Mouse. And even though she shared in Mickey's triumphs, the relationship was not always an easy one. Mickey's first color film was The Band Concert, produced in 1935. Here Mickey played a band leader struggling to conduct the William Tell Overture while caught up in a fierce tornado. From the beginning until 1946, Walt Disney himself played the voice of Mickey Mouse. Walt says he started doing the voice out of necessity to save money, but it soon became a pleasure. They were coming closer. The fight was on. I swung and missed. I missed and swung. I swung again and again and again. They were right on top of me. And then? In 1932, Walt Disney was presented with an honorary Academy Award for the creation of Mickey. But Mickey didn't make his first feature film appearance until 1940 as the star of The Sorcerer's Apprentice in Fantasia. Now in the decade that followed, the Disney studio shifted production to training films for the Army. But it wasn't long before Mickey reappeared looking better than ever. Well, Mickey started out kind of skinny and rubber-limbed. And he gradually began to take on a little more human characteristics as the years went by. And in about 1939 or 40, I think, oh no, it was even before that, uh, one of our artists, Freddie Moore, sort of redesigned Mickey uh, to the basically the shape he is in now. Uh, and he became a little rounder and a little more stocky, I think. But he's, his personality never changed. He's always been Mickey. In 1955, Mickey found a new way to entertain. He took to the smaller screen, television, 
with one of the most popular children's programs of all time. Basketeers, roll call. Count off now. That step into television launched a whole new era for the Disney studio. TV is where the public first found out about Walt Disney's plan to transform 200 acres of orange groves into a world-renowned theme park. Welcome. I guess you all know this little fella here. It's an old partnership. Mickey and I started out the uh, first time many, many years ago. We've had a lot of our dreams come true. Now we want you to share with us our latest and greatest dream. That's it, right here. Disneyland. For over 30 years, this magic kingdom has brought happiness to over 280 million people. And Mickey has been there from day one. When it opened in 1971, Mickey became the official host for Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. 12 years later, Tokyo Disneyland opened and Mickey Mouse continued his role as an ambassador to the world. I would say my most special memory is just from two years ago being on the Great Wall of China with Mickey Mouse, who hadn't been kind of legally in China f since the 30s. And we went to the Great Wall, and uh, he was also almost stampeded. There were so many people that wanted to touch Mickey and be with Mickey that uh, it was amazing to me uh, of the popularity of a character who hadn't even been there for so long. For 60 years, Mickey Mouse has been the logo for the Walt Disney Company, not only on film and television, but also in the air. Well, Mickey Mouse is Disney. I mean, he began it. He is the uh, threshold character of our company, and his innocence and uh, vitality kind of defines our company. Well, after 60 years, you might think Mickey is slowing down. Not a chance. He's already making plans to open Euro Disneyland in Paris, France, and he'll be appearing in new animations. We're intending to do some animation of Mickey and Donald and Goofy at our new animation studio in Florida when it opens next year. In uh, sh short subject form, much like the old ones, probably 22, 23 minute subjects. We're very excited about that. We have a lot of animators that are very excited about doing Mickey again. Mickey Mouse, recognized around the world as an international star. In fact, in 1930, Mickey was even listed in the Hollywood directory of actors. Height, 2 feet 3 inches. Weight, 23 pounds. Agent, Walt Disney. During the last few years, we've ventured into a lot of different fields. and We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Well, Walt always used to say Mickey was just a nice little guy. He was like you and me. He was every man in a way. Well, I grew up with Mickey, uh, and in fact, Mickey's older than I am, which I always like to brag about. Uh, I just remember him always being there, always smiling, always that happy presence. Okay, has that changed at all over the years for you, or will those memories differ from now? No, Mickey's still the same little guy he always was. Uh, he's changed in appearance through the years a little bit, but he's still Mickey. Well, I think Mickey's best quality is his innocence, his willingness to accept whatever comes along in life and to treat it in much the same way you and I would. What do you think the company would be without Mickey Mouse? <laughs> That's a hard question. It, it would be vastly different. I have no idea. We needed Mickey to start the company. We still need him now. Future Mickey Mouse animations cartoon. We're intending to do some animation of Mickey and Donald and Goofy at our new animation studio in Florida when it opens next year. In uh, sh short subject form, much like the old ones, probably 22, 23 minute subjects. We're very excited about that. We have a lot of animators that are very excited about doing Mickey again. Mickey's changed over the years from Steamboat Willie to present day. Go through the changes with us, if you will. Well, Mickey started out kind of skinny and rubber-limbed, 
and he gradually began to take on a little more human characteristics as the years went by and in about 1939 or 40 I think oh no it was even before that uh, one of our artists Freddie Moore sort of redesigned Mickey uh, to the basically the shape he is in now uh, and he became a little rounder and a little more stocky I think but he's, his personality never changed he's always been Mickey you're as close to Mickey as, as anybody alive today. Uh, how does it make you feel knowing that he's turning 60 years old? <laughs> Makes me feel old. The only good thing about that is that I'm younger than he is. <laughs> Anything you want to add about Mickey or, or with the company and, and the future of the company and Mickey? Or... Well, I think we started with Mickey. Uh, we're going to go on with Mickey. I'm, I would love to be around when he's 100 years old. Well, Mickey Mouse is Disney. I mean, he began it. He is the uh, threshold character of our company. And his innocence and uh, vitality kind of defines our company. Why is Mickey more popular than ever after 60 years? Well, I think because we've had a lot of Mickey Mouse specials, because it's his 60th birthday, uh, because uh, he's been around for 60 years, because of his innocence and vitality and charisma. And uh, I think he'll always be popular. If you could sum up Mickey's best qualities, what would they be? Oh, enthusiasm, innocence, uh, friendliness, uh, non-threatening behavior, and kind of associated with being and living in Disneyland. Do you have a special memory of Mickey from childhood from, uh, that you'd like to share anything from Mickey now? I would say my most special memory is just from two years ago being on the Great Wall of China with Mickey Mouse, who hadn't been kind of legally in China f since the 30s. And we went to the Great Wall, and uh, he was also almost stampeded. There were so many people that wanted to touch Mickey and be with Mickey that uh, it was amazing to me uh, of the popularity of a character who hadn't even been there for so long. My other recollection of Mickey is every time I'm in the park, I see a three-month-old baby. For some reason, kids are, I think it's prenatal. They're born with an image of what Mickey Mouse is. So I don't understand it. I don't try to understand it, but it's amazing. And Mickey Mouse uh, will be around uh, long after all of us. Uh, hopefully, always is a symbol of, of happiness, fun, peace, and almost anything good you can think of. The year was 1928, and an adventurous mouse by the name of Mickey was born out of the imagination of Walt Disney. After 60 years, the world's favorite cartoon character is more popular than ever. But Mickey is more than a celebrity to his adoring fans. With thousands of products bearing his image over the years, he has stepped beyond stardom. Mickey has become collectible. People have identified with Mickey from the very beginning. Uh, they can see a little of themselves in Mickey Mouse, and I think that's one of the reasons why he was so popular. After his 1928 film debut in Steamboat Willie, he found another home in the comic strips. But fans wanted a more embraceable Mickey. The first toys made were a hit, and before long, this famous mouse appeared on everything imaginable. Now, six decades later, mouse collectors join clubs, attend conventions, and scout out shops to find collectibles. This one's been well kept, but they are, this is a collectible, and in this condition, it's probably a pretty popular item to have. One of the most famous and best kept Mickey collections can be found at the Walt Disney Archives in Burbank, California. The archives were set up in 1970 to collect and preserve the history of Disney. Among the rarest items from the 30s, this mesh purse, a swing set, clothing and figurines, this stencil set, featuring Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the forerunner to Mickey Mouse, dates back to 1928. Only one other set is known to exist. But the most popular of the collectibles are the timepieces. In 1933, the first Mickey Mouse watch was created by Ingersoll. It sold for $2.95. Macy's sold as many as 11,000 Mickey Mouse watches a day. No one can be certain about the number of Mickey collectibles that exist today. 
but the growing curiosity over mouse memorabilia ensures that a willing home will always be found. Hi, Mouseketeers! Hi, Iggy! Big doings this week. Adventure, fun, music, cartoons, news. Everybody ready? Ready! Then on with the show! As part of a year-long celebration honoring Mickey Mouse's 60th birthday, the Walt Disney Company is busy planning special events. Turning 60 doesn't happen every day, so to celebrate this uplifting event, Mickey's birthday balloon will visit 54 cities across the country. Donning a brand new birthday hat, the 12-story balloon began a four-month tour in May. All sorts of birthday ideas are sprouting up. A unique birthday card, Cornfield Mickey, was planted last April. Well, this project, which we call Cornfield Mickey, is located outside of Mason City, Iowa. And it's a large field, approximately one square mile, and it's planted in both oats and corn. Now, if you can imagine, in the center of this field is a huge Mickey Mouse face. The face is about 220 acres, which is actually larger than Disneyland. The idea here being that airplanes flying overhead will be able to look down and see this big face. We're really excited about it, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Disneyland is hosting a summer-long birthday celebration for Mickey's 60th, which will run through August 22nd. The festivities include a parade and birthday bash show. And every child, 11 and under, will receive a special gift from Mickey's magic birthday machine. Over a million prizes will be awarded, like this commemorative plush doll. Meantime, Walt Disney World unveils Mickey's Birthday Land. A special birthday express train will take guests to Mickey's house in Duckburg Village. That's where Disney characters are planning a surprise party. Special events are also planned for Tokyo Disneyland. Mickey will be honored on the small screen as well. Walt Disney Home Video will release Mickey's 60th commemorative cassette. And the Disney Channel has two TV specials planned for later this year. NBC will broadcast a one-hour Mickey's birthday special in November. Consumer Products has designed a new line of Mickey's 60th merchandise and clothing. Some old favorites, like the original Mickey Mouse watches, will also be reproduced. From cross-country tours to parties in the parks, from commemorative products to TV specials, Mickey's 60th birthday will be a worldwide celebration. M-I-C... See you real soon! <laughs> K-E-Y Why? Because we like you! M-O-U-S-C Do you know who turned 60 years old this year? No, I don't. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh, I see. What's the best way to describe Mickey Mouse? Oh, it's just a fun-loving character. Goodwill ambassador. Kids love him. I sing the song often. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. One, two. Oh three. no, I don't even no. know it. <laughs> no way. No, not. No, no it is. I can't carry a tune unless I'm in the shower. Okay, you can talk through it. Ready? One, two. Three. I don't even know how to start it. I don't it. even know how to start. Start. You sing it you for us. You start it. Start it off. Who's the, who's the leader of the band? It's made for you and me. <laughs> M-I-C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-C Mickey Mouse Donald Duck Mickey Mouse Donald Duck Forever, ever hold the banner high, high, high. <laughs> Hey there, hi there, hi oh there, I don't know the rest. How long have you known about Mickey? <laughs> I don't remember. Very long. Long time. What's the best way to describe Mickey Mouse? Cute. Now you know what we're doing here, don't you? No, I don't. We're asking people whose birthday it is. So who turned 60 years old? Who turned 60 years old? I don't know. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, all right! No, good, good. And what's the best way to describe Mickey? Mickey, excellent, fantastic. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, -E, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. Hey there, hi there, ho there, we're as happy as can be. M I Z K E Y M O U S E. Hey. What memories do you have of Mickey Mouse? I remember Mickey Mouse in the South Pacific. He was uh, in the Sydney on some of the airplanes we had out there. Can you believe Mickey's 60 years old? I can believe it. I knew it when he was just a, a little mouse. 
as a matter of fact. Well, uh, I'm much older than I look. Uh, Mickey's 60 today. How is he celebrating? Well, he's 60 this year. I guess I'm not supposed to ask the questions, am I? I'm no, supposed to answer. Well, November 18th is his actual birthday. But do you remember any time in your life when you didn't know about Mickey Mouse? Uh, no, I think my mother told me about him about an hour after I was born, actually. So about the first hour of my life, I didn't know who Mickey Mouse was. After that? After that, it's common knowledge. You used to watch the Mickey Mouse Club? Absolutely. Yeah. Cubby, Annette, the whole gang. I used to work at Disneyland. No, but I can do my old keelboat spiel, if you like. Oh. Howdy, hi, Buccaneers, Pioneers, Frontiers, Souvenirs, Engineers, Reindeers, In-laws, Outlaws, Attorneys of Law, Coleslaw, Grandpas, Grandmas, Big Kids, Little Kids, Sawbusters, Chicken Pluckers, and all you lovely, lovely ladies. But you can't do the Mickey Mouse. Sorry. Not even the first part. Uh, M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E. Thank you. Who turned 60 years old this year? Disney. Uh, uh, this and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. That's right. What's the best way to describe Mickey Mouse? Funny. funny. Weird. Funny. Funny. Big ears. Me. Funny. My brother. <laughs> Do you know who turned 60 years old this year? Uh. Famous personality. Bob Hope again. I don't know. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Well, heck, I didn't know that. I live in Anaheim, and I should have known that. What's the best way to describe Mickey? A mouse. What's the best way to describe Mickey Mouse? Charm. Um, con constant youthfulness. Clever. How long have you known about Mickey? Oh, Lord, I think since he first came on the scene. Do you remember when? No, I've forgotten, and I've seen little shorts about it and everything. 1920-something? 28. Yeah. Close. Now, what about the Mickey Mouse theme song? From the Mouseketeers, yeah. you mean? Oh, okay, God, yeah. M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E, -E, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Forever let our something tie. Oh, come along and sing our song. Enjoy and join our jamboree, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. <laughs> I think he's a big, nice mouse. <laughs> and where does he live? In Disneyland. Do you see him a lot? No. Do you wish you could see him more? Uh-huh. Do you want to wish him a happy birthday? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Yeah.
are the merry musketeers. Musketeers! We got a lot of our ears. Above our ears! The talents given to you and me, we must develop faithfully so we can be good musketeers. Musketeers! Happy 60th birthday, Mickey. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Happy 60th birthday, Mickey Mouse. Happy 60th birthday, Mickey. You know, if Mickey Mouse were here right now, I would say, Happy birthday, Mickey. I would love to say that to Mickey Mouse. But he's not here, so I can't. I gotta change the dosages. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. On this very, very special occasion, I'd just like to say, Happy 60th birthday, Mickey. <laughs> 